Greetings, and welcome to Microtown. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I love this game. <laughs> if you couldn't tell by my previous video, I am completely enamored with this game because it's fun and it's cool, and I really want to play like a long form Let's Play. So we're going to do that. And we're going to just go through every step and all the things and see if we can make a really nice city. Um, so first of all, thank you to the developer for the key for this game. Uh, this is made by a person named Rudy. And he's a really great developer. Talks in his Discord, answers questions, takes feedback. He's pretty darn cool. Um, and there's a note. This is an early access version of the game. And it's a village builder. So there are unfinished features, placeholder assets, occasional bugs, and a couple of hours of gameplay and limited end game. So just keep that in mind as we go through this. Um, and then future updates may have breaking changes and that does happen uh, from time to time. But we're gonna continue here and we're gonna start a brand new town. Now, um, th let's look at the options. I should show you the options for the games. We have some limited uh, options here, but I am able to get full screen at a good resolution and unlimited frame rate, which is pretty tasty. I like this. So there's many, many, many options here. Um, I have asked for UI scaling, so that may come at some point. Um, but yeah, we have stuff. I have turned off screen shake. I have no idea what it is like, but I don't like screen shake generally. So, yep. Uh, and then we have auto save interval. This is kind of interesting. I, I wish there was like a five minute option that would have been tastier, but that's okay. Um, oh, locked features. That's interesting. And then I do have it to run in the background. And what that means is that it will, um, if you're tabbed out, it will run. So, uh, camera pan speed, custom pointer styles, uh, camera map dragging, all this kind of stuff, controls info. We have just different things and, uh, and stuff. And then there are credits. Woohoo. Awesome. Rudy the dev. Snowy Ash Games. <laughs> and these are people who sometimes laugh. Oh, one person who laughed, sometimes laughed at my jokes. Vladimir Slav from Cold Wind Games. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty cool. All right. So let's go back and we'll start a brand new game. Now I've given some thought to what kind of a map I want here. We have two objective things. We have a sandbox, which is no objective, and then monument construction. I think we'll go for monuments construction, but we can play after that as well. Map size. I'm thinking we want a gigantic map and make the biggest city that we possibly can. Tech, we can either go with starter text or all text unlocked. And then I think we're gonna have no tutorial. I think we know what to do by now. So let's just start. Please wait while we crunch the numbers. Hold tab to speed up the game. That's another option that I have asked for and I hope will be added is the, um, just having um, a button that you can click to persistently speed the game up. Okay, so we start off with two warehouses, which are holding some planks and some stone slabs. And then we have two granaries, which are holding tomatoes and carrots. So we want to start off with some wood production. I think I, um, that's the most important part because we can't use up all of our wood because lumberjacks uh, need wood to work. Uh, I want to set up something permanent. So maybe like over here, I'm thinking. So let's set that up there and we'll put a sawmill right next, well, right across from it, I think. Put the sawmill here and then we'll add our saw horses. Let's add, let's do two saw horses first. Oopsies, let's get that one canceled. And then we'll have one kind of like behind it there. Okay, and our peeps are going to just run by and get everything from the warehouses. Now, we do need to get a quarry made as well. Quite, quite important to get these things done. Oopsies, we can't put it right on the slabs, but we can put it there. And then we need a mason. Now, the quarry, we probably won't need more than one of these things. And I have to caution you to be extremely... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got a funny video out there, uh, or we're going to be out there. Um, yeah, uh, be extremely cautious the way you allocate things. Yeah. Anyway, let's have uh, a lumberjack work in here or maybe two, and then we'll have two people working at the sawmill as well. Um, I also think that it's wise to put another lumberjack somewhere else, maybe close by, uh, maybe. 
Maybe over here. This actually might be okay. We could put one out here. And you can also move the gathering area to say like there, for example. Um, but it's it's going to be important that we build this building at least uh, until we can get the arborists and stuff like that going on. Uh, we can also build roads, but I think more important than building roads, we need a house or two. So we'll hold shift to build multiples of those. And then I want to build a farm or a gardener at this point. That's all we have at the moment. So I've learned some really interesting things in the Microtown Discord. Uh, and one of those is that you can prevent um, some of the uh, weirdness with gardeners by you can actually choose what is harvested. So you can shift click this to say, aha, I want you to harvest both carrots and tomatoes instead of just one. But I actually just want this one to do one of them. So we're going to start with that and go. But that means you can also build your farms quite close together. So let's do, let's build some tomato plots. Very important to build a few. So my estimations last time were that this could support about 15 of these, basically five per person but i'm not sure if those numbers are correct we're going to kind of delve into this we're going to look at this during this playthrough and find out if that's a reasonable number oh wow we got more people excellent okay so this is this is seeming like a really good run through so far <laughs> i was quite scared that um <clears throat> we uh we might kill everybody uh <laughs> but it's fine it seems fine now it's it seems fine now uh it seems really okay that's great so let's see, let's get a road here. I wanna have a farm road going like this maybe, and then connecting possibly, um, yeah, let's connect this way. And then maybe, I don't know, some, some other way as well, <laughs> I don't know. But we do need to get carpentry happening. That's for sure. I'm thinking we could build another carpenter's bench there. Do we have enough logs? Yeah, we have three logs, um, which probably means we're... No, that's that. I think that's full. You can have, I think, four stacked up, and that's the end of the production. If there's four stacked up, then people are not going to do anything. So that's important to note. I think it might also be time for another of the masons. So let's get another mason out here. Mason has one piece of stone. We might need another quarry thingy over here what is this oh lumberjack yeah right okay um i think we need also lumberjack up here just to get rid of these trees because i think we're gonna have some farms up here and that's gonna make our people a lot happier so let's press tab and let life go on a little bit faster for our, our folks who are running about and if they're bored they should start to dig these roads now the, the key to remember is that we don't want to run out of food looks like fine we're, we're going to be okay because we already have one gardener working on making uh the tomatoes here so let's just shift click that and that will limit the uh the gardening to tomatoes only i believe we can make things easier for ourselves if we build the granary right next to the building here. Uh, but we're going to do that after we get a little bit more production of stuff. I think we can build a... Ah, yes, we can claim our... First of all, claim our research points for these things. And I want to get forestry. That's really important. I think it's far more important than farming. <laughs> Who cares about farming? We need to be able to do forestry activities. All right, so we're going to move this down here. Okay. And actually, we can move it all the way like this, possibly. Uh, okay. And then actually, no, we want to move it further even like one square further like this. Yeah, yeah, like that, maybe. I don't know. And I'm going to set up foresters here. We need a forester. And then we're going to need a person, the arborist. Yes. Let's get the arborist over here. And then we can have places where the arborist can go and grow some trees. All right, looking pretty darn good there. 
So how are we doing here? We have some stuff going on. Ah, the farm is looking very nice. All right, and here we're going to build this uh, lumberjack's hut. Now, these things do have a limited range. Could I actually have... No, I couldn't have moved it there. So you can't move it, you know, very, very far. You can only move it a certain distance. But looks okay. So people are kind of milling around if they have nothing to do, by the way, and that's okay. They're just like, yeah, hey, we got nothing to do. Uh, in the miner's hut, we do need to hire a second miner, I think. There. We have eight food. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. We need more food. Anybody want to go work here? <laughs> wow. Why aren't they, like... Why are they not plowing these fields? This is quite strange, actually. Does that mean red? That they're not allowed? <gasps> red means they're not allowed. Oh, no. Oh, disable. Shift click is disable. Okay. Never mind. I was uh, confused there for a moment. I haven't tried that feature out yet. Okay, so now they're they're actually uh, planting things. That's great. That is good. So that means they won't plant and they won't uh, harvest either, which is a good thing. Okay, we will hopefully not die. It'll be fine. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. It, it, we'll 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 make it work. We will make it work. Um. Let's see. We can get some grain to be stored here. I think we'll wait till the arborists is finished and also the foresters hut is finished because we do not want to run out of trees. That's for sure. As I said, caution, caution as you are building these things because yeah, can get kind of naughty there. Okay. It looks like the tomato fields are, um, yeah, they're doing well. Things are going well. We can hire another carpenter here because we have plenty of logs. We've got logs delivered from here as from here. So that's great. Now we have our arborist already working planting trees. Oh, I love all the tiny details. Look at the tiny trees. Oh, they're looking good. Okay. Oh, the wild sawmill's working. Boom. Okay. It looks like we're getting... Ah, oh, we're getting planks stored. So that means I think that we can probably build another um yeah thing here so i think what i want to do is if we plant let's see one so that's four five six seven eight nine so we need five more one two three four five okay we could have them here and then put the um the granary right here and this is going to be for uh tomatoes excellent all right, let's build ourselves another farm gardener. Pardon me. Um, one thing that's interesting I've noticed is that... Oh, no, it doesn't say. If we get the farm, it also says that it can do um, tomatoes and carrots. But I haven't seen the ability to plant them just yet. So, anyway. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll find a different place to put the granary for that. But yeah, important to get food. Food is good for people. People like food. They, they really do. So here we have, uh, looks like Arborist may need more plots. I think the Arborist definitely needs more plots. So let's go ahead and add a few more. We can put them maybe this side i'm thinking and then we can add another uh arborist to the left as well okay so they're just putting stuff outside and then i guess we need somebody to deliver them um one thing that's extremely important is you need to make sure that you have enough population to go run around delivering stuff um let's see shift click and we're gonna buy some more houses Let's go and get some more here. Let's build four more houses. Uh, and keep in mind with all these people and houses, you got to feed them all as well. So keep that in, uh, in the back of your thoughts so they don't starve. <laughs> and of course here we really need to deal with this wood because we can't expand our farms either. Um, with stuff the way it is. Okay, so that's only going to collect carrots. That's just fine. These are only going to collect tomatoes. Excellent. Now, I wish these people would kind of chop this thing down. Oh, they're not going to chop it, are they? Shoot. 
Okay, let's just concentrate on chopping the things that need chopping, shall we? Now then, Forester, we have to choose where they are planting stuff as well. We're going to choose to have them plant trees that way. Yeah, that's better. We don't want to be planting on the road. Uh, we want to be chopping away from the road here. I might even set this forest or this uh, lumberjack to chop where there's no trees so that we can use up this wood from this carpenter's hut. Um, I think let's go ahead and make another carpenter's hut. Actually, we can just shift left click this and we have more. Yay. Let's put another three sawmill or saw horses there. Oh, this is going quite swimmingly. I'm very, very pleased about this. This looks really good at the moment. Okay. So chop, chop, chop. Let's go. Keep on chopping. Let's pe go, people. Move. We have eight food. That's not a lot. I think it's going up, though, which is nice. All right, we get 30 points for replanting trees. I think what we'll take with that is we'll get the farming... Um, herding might be okay too. Let's get farming though, because we can then start to uh, get the farms, which will give us many, many other things over time. Okay, we definitely need to get this stuff going. All right, come on. Let's let's finish all this chopping. Chopping, chopping. Go, go. Nice. The good thing is we're not replanting in any of this area, so our, we should get it cleared soon enough. Can I shift click a road? No, okay, roads don't count in that. That's fine. I do love that there is an eyedropper tool, though. That's extremely handy. All right, so these people are bored. They need more, I guess they need more more, more plots. How many do we have here? We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I don't think even 10 would be enough for those two. So maybe we need to look at getting different numbers of plots. Maybe they can take care of six. Not quite sure. Okay, this is moving along very nicely. I'm very, very happy about this. Let's see. We need to move this thingy as well. Let's go ahead and go here. Like that. Just to make sure that we can get the road through. And then also get another room for our arborist to be and exist. Okay, we're getting in a bit of a slowdown here. I wonder if I have not enough people. Yeah, we've got seven delivering items, one idling. We do have at least one idle person. <laughs> but this is not going to help things with having extra people working here. Yep, they can't even find people. So that's not ideal. No, no. Okay, but we're building houses. That's good. That's a good sign. So we have... Planks times three. We need more materials. They did put the foundations. Usually there's a stone slab for the foundation for these guys. Um, so that works. All right, come on, folks. Do your thing. And you can tell by the lack of road building. Okay, finally they're getting to the roads here. Uh, yeah, we just don't have enough people. So looks like we're lacking in planks, but a lot of the planks, you have to remember, are going to these places, which also require huge, huge amounts of construction materials. Something that's quite surprising for the area that they are. It's like, whoa, really? You need that much, huh? So yeah, that's a thing. Let's see. Hopefully we can get all of this stuff cleared as well. Uh, looks like our peeps are working hard with this, but... Uh, we need more delivery people, actually, because right now this is empty and um, there's nobody delivering. We need houses. No. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. One being delivered. Okay. We're very close. Yeah. Um, some people have already suggested in the Microtown Discord that there should be some, like, priority system. Like, I would prefer that they don't do a round robin and do every single one. I'd rather have one completely built. So having like a priority tick box or something would be absolutely fabulous for this. That would be super, super helpful uh, to be able to plan better and, and get stuff done uh, in that way. So this is looking pretty good. Arborist has all the saplings planted, looking nice. Let's copy, uh, well, let's not do that. Let's, let's wait until we have a few more people moving in here <laughs> before we get that done. Okay, look, we have carrots, yay. 
And the granary is still not done yet. No. Oh, so much stuff. All right. This is funny, though. They, they make all of the carpentry benches before they actually put down the hut um, for them to work there. It's like, no. The new is real. New. All right. I want to move this down one, and we're just going to very selectively chop this bits. These bits over here. Uh, looks like Forester is doing pretty well. The trees are a bit sparse. I wonder if they if they can't like um, make them as thick as the natural woods. I'm not sure, but they are kind of just standing there. Um, they do have four saplings, so I guess that's their limit of thickness of forests. And that's fine. That's just fine. Okay, we got our peeps doing stuff. Remember, the roads give us a 20% movement bonus. That's pretty darn good. I'm wondering if I should do a connecting road like this, possibly. Yeah, might as well, I guess. Just in case we need um, materials down this way. I guess we can just have them easily transferred there. That makes sense. There we go. Looking pretty good. Now for this, this is the city hall. So I was thinking about making kind of a little nestled um road not sure how how many houses you can have in a group or if they can be just really really clumpy or what um to be able to yeah get people in and out and that kind of thing oh looking good we now have more people okay now i want to design this whole area properly have we gotten stuff here yes okay so let's demolish this building I want to demolish almost that building. I want to get the rest of these things completely gone. Just chop all these trees down, please. We now have two sawmills uh, where we can process logs. So let's just also get some more employees working there. Lumberjacks, yes, many. Forester, for now we're okay with one, I think. But I do think we need another forester here. So let's copy this and then put one maybe here. Okay, and then you are gonna plant maybe like this area or something. That should be okay-ish, I guess. There's one, will be one square missing, but that's not really that detrimental or anything. And then this, we'll just kind of like choose this area. Uh, maybe like that. I don't know. Completely forgotten where this one is going. Okay, that seems to be pretty good. Uh, I think that's going to work fairly well. Maybe. We'll see. I hope so. Uh, looks like, yeah, we got our, our other forester up. Let's go ahead and build another arborist's cottage as well. Hello, autosave. There we go. And we'll put this in so they can share these uh, these little tree making pens as though they were pets or something. <laughs> I, I actually kind of like I came up with this other design where I had them one away from the road and had a little road and, and it extended the back end quite a bit. And I think that might work a little bit better. And the arborist places, remember, that you can only have one employee in there, so they can only take care of so many. Ah, here we can go and uh, improve our area here. So I think we needed, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh no, and we need fifteen. No! Okay. We'll take this one away from the road. And then I think we'll put in. Can we put carrots here? Oh, we can put potatoes now too. Um, we're gonna put carrots in there and see if that works. And then we'll put the tomato silo over here. Let's do that. And then maybe also we can put a farm up here uh, for other stuff. I think I should have put, put these one away from the road and have a road going in so that we could have a little bit more of the uh, catchment area for these guys. Let's see, how many do we have here? We have two people working the carrot fields here. I'm wondering if we should have so, you know, in this case, it looks like they have not enough people. But it's the same amount of land, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so they had five tiles more than, or six tiles more, I guess. So maybe we should have three people working there instead. Um, let's see, I'm kind of reticent to have people. How many people do we have idle? 17. Okay. Yeah, we can afford one at both of our farms. And then, but we do want to make sure and keep a good amount of people um, happy. Okay. All right, we want to have this little enclosed town center. I'm quite happy about that. That it's kind of cute, kind of cute. So arborists are doing well. Looks like they are able to to plant trees and then have some ripen <laughs> not really ripen but sort of grow up that looks good i i like that that seems to work pretty well hopefully they're keeping the foresters supplied this is looking good this is looking great probably could use some more lumberjacks three lumberjacks and three sawmill people times two so that's going to be working pretty darn well. Okay, so now, now that we have a stable, not dying economy, <laughs> now we can look at research points and see what we want to do next. Okay, so we have mining. Uh, we also have book binding, which is really good for getting more research points. So that might be a thing. Um, herding is good as well, because that will give us some cakes and ham to eat uh, of course the other thing is to get tools and i believe that's with smelting uh, where we can they uh, they will make tools and they will speed up all of the buildings which is kind of a nice benefit but then brewing and clothing is going to give us happiness points and right now we're at minus two happiness uh, so but our our productivity hasn't suffered just yet it might soon though Let's go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and surround this area with a road just so that people can sort of pass by, walk around, have a nice time, say hello. Maybe I'll put my market up here. We have to have a mall. I mean, everybody knows that. Let's get our... Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll put it here and I'll put the market stalls around. We need six of them. One, two, three, four, uh, five, and six. Yeah, let's do it that way. That that could be kind of fun, actually. I want to make kind of a nice um, settlement that doesn't look horrible. I want to make it look good and be friendly and make sense as well. Oh, we can uh, demolish this. Good, good. Very good. All right, and look at all of our people. They're working so hard. Aw, oh, that's so nice. Okay, everything is working well. Now these empty spaces, I'm kind of like planning for stuff. We need to have breweries and healers in here because they they um, distribute a lot of the stuff to our citizens. So that's important to have them near people uh, so they don't have to walk that far to go and uh, send stuff off. So we actually didn't decide, did we, what we want to do next? But I think that might be the next thing we do in the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.